everyone. So today I want to show you how to cook in this stainless steel pot or pan. Um, a lot of restaurants use stainless steel. It's really durable. It lasts a long time and it cooks your food really well. But if you don't know the proper technique, you will burn your food. Trust me, I know I burnt my hash browns the other day. But if you look at my most recent video, I watched a couple of YouTube videos and learned how exactly to cook in this pan so that my food never burns again. And I'm gonna show you how. The first thing you wanna do is put your pan on your skillet and put your flame on to medium high heat. Now what we're gonna do is wait for the pan to heat up. As you can see, it's already, it has water in it because I washed it. So we're just gonna wait for the water to evaporate and then I'm gonna show you the technique. Okay, so now we're going to try the water test. Now, if the water, if the pan is perfect, the water will make little beads and go across the top of the pan. So let's see, we're gonna drop a little water. There are some beads. So that means the pan is too hot. The beads are just supposed to fly like they were at first. So I'm gonna let the pan cool down and show you again. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna try that water test again. This time I'm just gonna put my hand into the water and splash it on. Let's try to get a little bit more, but that's what we want. You see how they're rolling like little balls? That's exactly what we need. When they disperse like that, that's not good. But if they just roll like little balls all across the pan, you see that? It's a little too hot still, but that's almost exactly where we want it. Um, the way that the bubble was breaking apart like that, that's not what we want. That means it's too hot, but it's almost there. All right, now we're gonna do one last water test. So I'm just gonna splash some water on. And they are just rolling like bubbles for the most part. So now I'm going to add some oil to this pot. I'm gonna let the water disperse. Okay, there's one little ball. <laughs> That's fine. So I'll add some olive oil. I don't have that much left. And I'm gonna let the oil heat up. I'll show you guys what I have the fire on. So the fire is very low. If you look at the dial, it's low, it's on low. I'm sorry, my stove looks a little dirty. I try to clean it really well, but it is what it is. So now the oil's heated up, heating up. I'm gonna add the chicken. We don't wanna heat the oil too much, um, just for a second. Add some chicken breast. There we go. Now don't touch it. You have to let it cook. And also don't crowd your pan. So I'm probably only gonna be able to fit three, and that's okay. I'll just cook it in increments. I had cut these chicken pieces in half. So they would be pretty thin. Now you need to let it cook because you want the chicken to naturally come up off the pan. Right now the chicken is sticking to the pan, but it's going to build a layer of steam and naturally come up to where you're going to be able to handle it in a couple minutes. I'll show you when that happens. Now I'm just gonna season it while we wait. And now my chicken was a little bit frozen it's better to have your chicken or your any type of protein that you're gonna add um, as room temperature, but it should be okay, hopefully. We'll see if I messed this up or not, <laughs> but um, let's just let it come to temperature. All right, so here's the chicken. I've been letting it cook for a couple of minutes, probably about two, and it is starting to come up off the bottom. It's not sticky. But it's not entirely crispy yet. So it's looking like that. But I want it to be obviously a lot prettier, so I'm gonna let it cook a little bit longer. 
All right, now I think it's time to flip these over. They're obviously not cooked all the way through. So we definitely are going to take care of that. But look, definitely is not sticking. We did crowd the pan. We heated the pan to exactly the temperature that we needed it to be. I think that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna season this side. I don't know why I always, I always season. I never season before I put it in the pan because I forget. But that's okay. We work it out. Let's test and see if the chicken is well done. I have my meat thermometer. So it is 181 degrees internal. Not sticking, as you can see. They move, they are beautiful on both sides. They're well seasoned. Look at this pan is not messed up in any way. <laughs> so here we are with our chicken. That's the inside and that is the crust. So do not shy away from cooking with stainless steel cookware. You got this. If you have any other tips, definitely leave them in the comments below and give me a follow or subscribe. Thank you guys so much. Have a great day.